Andy Bryan. I want to read a little poem by D. H. Lawrence, um, which is like a separate little sort of thought, really. He called them pansies, which really is an Englishing of pensée, uh, thoughts. Um, and this is about the hummingbird. Um, and in a sense, it's reinterpreting that rather chilly world of uh, geology and um, the distant past uh, and restoring it with, to a sense, as it were, of its own very special excitement. Hummingbird. What were hummingbirds like in the past? Hummingbird, it's called. I can imagine, in some other world, primeval dumb, far back, in that most awful stillness that only gasped and hummed, hummingbirds raced down the avenues. Before anything had a soul, while life was a heave of matter, half inanimate, this little bit chipped off in brilliance and went whizzing through the slow, vast, succulent stems. I believe there were no flowers there. In the world where the hummingbird flashed ahead of creation. I believe he pierced the slow vegetable veins with his long beak. Probably he was big as mosses, and little lizards, they say, were once big. Probably he was a jabbing, terrifying monster. We look at him through the wrong end of the long telescope of time. Luckily for us. Thank you. Thank you.